be very careful about the way you treat yourself because people are looking people are observing there are spectators and audiences all around and the way you treat yourself is the way you're going to be treated you know the golden rule treat others as you would like them to treat you well there's a compliment to the golden rule treat yourself as you would like others to treat you if you disrespect yourself people will disrespect you everyone almost if you hate yourself you will be universally hated if you constantly self defeat self sabotage self obstruct self trash self destruct everyone will collude with you and collaborate with you in your own downfall they will push you over the cliff over the edge and watch you tumbling down to your death because that's what you want because that's your transmission when you tell people i want to die i want to destroy myself i hate myself i wish i were dead they will comply they're there to lend a helping hand if you seek pain people will give it to you if you're self destructive people will gleefully ruin you and all this time people will feel ego syntonic they will feel comfortable and good with themselves because after all they're just helping you to fulfill your wishes to realize your fantasies and to self actualize if you consider yourself unattractive unworthy inadequate unlovable so would everybody else after all you must know something about yourself that they don't information asymmetry if you keep telling people i'm a monster i cannot be trusted i'm a liar avoid me stay away from me i'm dangerous <laughs> they're bound to believe you period even if you are a monster and you broadcast the opposite you're a real monster in private but in public you broadcast i'm a healer i'm a rescuer i'm a saver savior i'm a fixer people will believe you this is the base rate fallacy people believe 90% of what they are told uncritically they don't bother to check there's no time there's no time to go into an elaborate research project as to who you are you say you are something why not believe you definitely if you say negative things about yourself if you cast yourself in a negative light why not believe you this is why for example in the legal system a confession is absolute proof because why would anyone confess to a crime if he hadn't committed it if you broadcast guilt you are guilty if you wallow in shame and self pity people will give you good reasons to do so they will shame you they will hurt you they will cause you pain they will take you down they will deny you basic needs emotional and physical so that you have an excellent reason to feel disgraced and ashamed and self pitious if you consider yourself a failure and a loser who can never get a single thing right you will only and always succeed at failing failing constantly is an accomplishment your only skill is to fail your only success is at failing and people will set you up for failure and for defeat because that's what you seek that's what you want that's what you're proud of you're proud of your failures and defeats and victimhood status and how you've been abused and so on so all these victims online who brag about how bad their relationships have been and so on they attract the wrong kind of people they the, they attract the kind of people who will keep them maintain them in a victimhood status for life and yes i'm talking about the overwhelming vast majority of self-styled experts on youtube 